tacos. Again, everything is uh, organic and everything is vegan. And give me just a second to make sure we're actually live because it's not coming on the TV. All right, there it is. All right, it's just a delay there. Okay, so anyways, it's kind of hard doing things live because it's hard to keep track of if things are working right because we have to you know, check it as we go. So anyways, today we're gonna make some Spanish rice and some tempeh tacos. And we've already made a few things ahead of time so that we don't have to wait, like the rice here, which I'm gonna show you how to make it, but we've already made some. We've also already cooked the beans, which I'll show you what we did there too. And we've already made tortillas. And the tortillas will be for another stream, another day. My son actually made these, he's really proud of it, so we'll probably do a stream with him doing some baking and some different types of breads that he likes to make. Um, so we'll just get started right away with the um, rice. The first thing we're gonna do is get our pot and put just a little bit of oil in it. And after the oil, we're gonna add some onion. That's about a half an onion. And we're gonna add some carrot. Carrot, I like to chop it into small squares so that it will uh, cook pretty quickly and soften up. Some celery, about the same amount of carrot and celery as there was of onion. So about half an onion and then match that in the carrot and celery. It's about a half a stick of celery, I believe. And about one carrot. We got some fresh garlic, a couple cloves. I like to use fresh garlic on the rice. I like to use powdered on the tempeh. And then we got some tomatoes. In this case, I prefer to use uh, canned tomatoes because it's just easy. But it also works really good to use fresh tomatoes. One, maybe two good sized tomatoes. And we're going to put that in there. And I usually let that cook for just a minute before I add the rice and the uh, water. That way it'll kind of get the flavors going and soften everything up just a little bit. So we're going to let that cook there for a second. Right, the next thing we're going to get ready would be our beans. In this case, um, our beans are already cooked. So these were dried beans. We just These were so far just beans and water. So if you're using canned beans, you'd want to do that. If you had some pre-cooked beans, you'd want to heat them up at this point. And then our seasoning mix for the beans here consists of garlic, salt, cumin, black pepper, and chili powder. And I will, when, when this video goes onto YouTube, I will put a uh, link in the description with the recipes for this. We're gonna go ahead and put our seasonings in there though so that can sit and start flavoring them up a little bit. Normally you could have cooked this in as well, but the beans were pre-made and we use them for other things. So, stir that in, let that sit there. Now in this case, we actually like to use brown rice for this, and the brown rice that we like actually takes a little bit longer than white rice to cook. Usually it takes up to about 40 minutes for it to cook. So that's why we're just gonna show you how it's made and set that to the side, but we've already made some for the meal today. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get our tempeh started. Here's our tempeh. This is two things of tempeh here. What I like to do is cut them in half like this. Let's see, move some stuff so you can see. And I like to cut strips about a quarter inch to a half an inch thick. Turn it the other way and kind of make little cubes out of it. Now you could bake the tempeh, you could also cook it with a little less oil than we're going to today to make it a little bit healthier. But we like it with a good bit of oil. Tastes a lot better and you don't put very much of it onto the tacos or the burritos so it kind of just adds a smoky, salty flavor. And we're gonna take our pan, we're gonna put it on heat. I like using cast iron because it's a lot healthier. Plus it's a higher quality. We're going to put some oil in the pan, let that get warm, which the pan was already sitting on the heat of mango, so it should be warm pretty quick here. You might need to give it a minute. Our 
once these things start getting hot too, we'll add the, the rice and the water. And put our tempeh into the pan here. I guess it wasn't as hot as I thought it was. But it had already been on the heat though. So now we'll add our uh, seasonings to our rice here, which consists of paprika, oregano, coriander, and black pepper. We don't actually put any salt in this because we're going to use soy sauce, so we don't want it to get too salty. And here goes our soy sauce. Let me give that a stir. We're kind of speeding things up. Normally I would let it cook just a little bit longer there. We're going to put two cups of rice. And then our four cups of water. Give that a stir so it doesn't clump up and it doesn't stick. And then add our lid. Normally you turn it up, let it get boiling, and then turn it down after it starts going. I'm not going to bother just to make sure that we don't have to keep an eye on it while we're doing this. Okay. Turn this up a little bit. Basically what we want to do is get it to start browning and after it starts browning, you'll also soak up the oil. So I'll add a little bit more oil to it and that way it'll keep browning on the other side to make it stick. And we'll keep doing that until it gets pretty crispy and we kind of chop it up a little bit. We want it in little pieces so that it comes out kind of like a, a, the texture of like a ground hamburger, which is obviously not the food that we want to eat. So we still want that salty, savory taste though. So tempeh does really great. And in the seasonings, we'll talk about here in a minute, that's where the flavor really gets into the tempeh there. So now we'll go ahead and uh, get our toppings ready. I've already worked on a little bit of uh, carrot here. I'm gonna go ahead and shred this a little bit more. I actually use shredded carrot on a, a lot of our dishes that we normally would've used the shredded cheese for. It gives it the look, but it's also a great flavor to add to a lot of dishes. Great thing about getting organic food, you always hear me talk about, is that all of the compost goes right back into our garden. We don't have to worry about all the stuff being sprayed onto it, so we literally turn our, our leftover food into fertilizer, which I will do a, uh, a video also on making compost tea, so if you want to make homemade fertilizer for your garden, it's about the best thing you can do for your garden. It helps it stay extremely healthy, fight diseases and gives the nutrients that it needs and gets rid of a byproduct of your kitchen. Now this meal we're doing tonight is, is kind of a simple version but I also like to do like uh, pickled onions and things like that for toppings. So and actually we have a jalapeno somewhere. Jesse will you want to grab that please? This time we're using some uh, grape tomatoes. We uh, shop a lot since we're organic vegan to keep the cost down. We do a lot of bargain shopping, so we look for things that are on sale. So sometimes we'll even use Roma tomatoes, or maybe it'll be a slicing tomato, but this time it was grape tomatoes that were on sale and cheap. So this is what we went with. I prefer to have a fresh tomato over a salsa. 
And once you have fresh onion, you have fresh peppers, you really don't find that you need the salsa. You'll start getting the browning on one side here. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for it to all get browned. But once it starts soaking up that oil, it'll it'll stop browning, and then it'll lead to just going straight to burning instead of doing that that golden in between. So we're gonna. This is what I was saying. Is this isn't the, the healthiest way to cook tempeh. You could definitely throw it in a baking sheet. You could throw the spices and everything on it, and then put it on a nonstick. Uh, so it's just like a silicone mat on a, on a baking sheet and then put it in the oven and get the same effect but without using the oil. Also, making your own tortillas if you're uh, shopping for organic and vegan it can be hard. For some reason, the favorite tortillas that we had, they started putting honey in it just for absolutely no reason. So, it's really easy to make your own, it doesn't take very long. And they taste a whole lot better when they're fresh. To me, it's the fresh vegetables too that make a uh, taco or a burrito a lot better. now we're actually in the studio space that we're going to be turning into the kitchen for the cooking show where we're going to have the cameras and everything set up to make a better show make sure we have good angles of the food so that's why you see us cooking on this cook stove and tables because the rest of the studio is not built yet all still a work in progress It kind of breaks apart on its own, but I like to chop it up a little bit. I think the uh, the random angles and the rough edges tend to add a little more crispiness to it than just having it on chop. So that's why I don't chop it off of that size right off the bat. Alright, and then the beans, of course, just like this. I'm gonna get a picture here of this. The beans are good just like this with the seasonings in it. No need to do anything else to it, but I actually prefer them a little bit creamier. A little bit more of the refried beans type of texture. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand mixer. You could also use a uh, food processor to do this. 
and we're just going to blend them up just a little bit. faster if you use the uh, food processor but when they're this hot I don't really like putting stuff in the uh, plastic containers of the food processor. Again, if you want it healthier, just bake it, or you could even do it at this point, it'd still be good right now. We just like it a little crispier. We're gonna keep adding the oil. Chop it up a little bit more. Again, most of the meals that we've had, we, we've you know, fed people that don't eat vegan food and they absolutely loved it or they lied to us. But being that I was such a like steak and potatoes guy before I went vegan, I think they enjoyed it. It's pretty good food. Now I'll add the, uh, the seasonings here. So the seasonings for this consist of chili powder. And instead of using regular paprika, the, the key ingredient is to use smoked paprika. So we've got chili powder, smoked paprika, cumin, and garlic. And it's about a quarter of each of those. And we got a little bit of uh, black pepper in there. And again, we're not going to add any salt because we're going to use soy sauce to make it a little more savory and give it a little more flavor. Plus, that's going to put the salty into it. So we don't want to put salt because that would make it too salty. So what I like to do is I like to leave the heat on it. And you can get it crispier than this if you'd like. I just don't want to you know, have everybody waiting too long on the show here. So you're going to put the seasonings in there. But it's still on the heat. And you're going to stir it around just for a minute. You're really going to smell the stuff kick off. It's going to get stuck all over it. It's also going to stick to the pan a little bit. And we don't want it to burn, so you don't want your heat too high. Like a medium low would be good. And you're just going to cook it for a minute and then let the seasonings kind of cook on the pan. Turn the heat off. And we're going to add our soy sauce. And I like to add just enough that it stays kind of moist. And that's it. So basically, when it stops sizzling so much, 
I've got a drill for it. It should still be crunchy, but it should be kind of moist on the outside. And that should bring all that seasoning to cook down onto the pan, back up onto the tempeh. Seasoning off in there. You could use your own taco seasoning at this point, but a lot of those have salt and corn as filler. So by mixing our own seasoning like this, it comes out a whole lot tastier. And it's really cheap. That way you know exactly what's in it. Get another bowl here. Now I've made quite of a mess here. Move this out of the way. Now we got our tortillas that my son Caleb made, which are a little thin and crispy, but that's how we like them. So we're gonna add our beans. Like I said, the tempeh, it does come out pretty salty, so you really don't need much. A little bit of lettuce. Put a couple jalapenos in there. And I'm just continuing to make a mess of everything here. And you can add your salsa, hot sauce, whatever it is you'd normally put on here. Normally we'd have uh, avocados, but there was none that looked good at the store when we got the supplies for this. And then uh, my kids like to have the rice on the side, so put it on the side of this one. Sometimes we put it in the burrito. And there we go. Tempeh soft tacos, Spanish rice. And I hope you guys enjoy everything that I'm cooking. Please give me some feedback. If you make the meal, you know, come in, say something, tell me what you thought about it. Tell me if you liked it, if something wasn't good about it. If you see something in the video that you think we should do differently, please let me know. Um, we are working right now, like I said, on, on building a studio just for this show so that we can have this cooking show and uh, improve the experience not only for us, but for you. Um, so just any feedback would help us because we're still in, in the you know, process of creating this. So that means that it's at the, the, the best time to receive criticism and, and input. So um, also if you are a Twitch Prime, I mean a uh, Amazon Prime subscriber, then you can uh, get a free subscription. And with that subscription, you would get access to more videos on the channel, plus you'd be helping this channel grow and uh, helping us get the things that we need to build the studio. Um, also, if you could you know, click down below, you can see previous videos, you can look through past uh, broadcasts, you can also check us out on YouTube. Um, always clicking the follow button is free, and that helps us out, that helps get word out, it helps you know when we're live. Also on um, YouTube, it's free to subscribe. So make sure to click the subscribe button on there and uh, keep up with any latest videos that we put out. I also do gaming on this channel. So if you come in on the channel and I'm just playing video games and you wanna know what's going on, you know, just say hi and ask me and I'll tell you when the next uh, cooking show is gonna be on. Also in the notifications after you um, have followed the channel, you'll get a notification every time that I go live. If it says cooking with gamer, then that's what we're doing. Also, um, for now, it's going to be every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you tune in next time and see what we're cooking. Thanks. One love.